what um, what kind of clicked defensively after that timeout in the third quarter? They obviously had the big lead at half. They start with a 13-3 run to go up 26. And from there, uh, you know, they scored 30 points the rest of the way. So what, what happened? I know it wasn't just a timeout, but kind of what, what did happen, I guess? Uh, but, just, uh, I think guys just uh, uh, played harder. You know, I think there was uh, more urgency defensively to uh, make them stop. We started switching, um, guarding better, rebound the ball. You know, we were just making them make tough shots, like early in the uh, first quarter. In the second quarter, they get a lot of uh, transition uh, points out of uh, turnovers. They were just feeling comfortable in every uh, switch. They were stepping behind, shooting a three. You know, they were just comfortable. You know, I feel like uh, from the third quarter after the timeout, we made them feel that comfortable. Um, made them go one on one because when you switch, now you got to play one on one. You know, um, and we, we were guarding. Like guys were moving their feet. Um, uh, guys was being physical uh, and going the other way. We were just playing basketball, you know, making the right play, not trying to do it on your own, you know, when the open pass is there, make the right pass, and you just hope that the shot goes in. Um, but at the end of the day, like, <clears throat> we just, sometimes we just make it tough on ourselves. Um, don't get me wrong, I think Portland is a very good team, young team, play hard, great defenders, um, you know, uh, play the right way, but... Uh, uh, we just make it tough. Like we could, you know, we can start the game like that. You know, we we should not be down 26 and then try to come and win the game. That takes, um, you know, a toll on your body. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm happy that we were able to win. I'm extremely proud of the guys that uh, played, uh, kept their head up. Uh, and that's something very, very important. It doesn't matter about win or lose. It's about being able to. You know, hold your head high, like be prideful that you're able to play uh, a game. And I think that with me resonated a lot. And uh, he was 100% right. Like at the end of the day, like no matter if it goes our way or doesn't go our way, like sometimes we put our head down too much and we just get deeper and deeper in the hole. Like at the end of the day, we have the opportunity to go out there and chase and come back to the game and be proud of that. You know, that you have that opportunity to do that. And uh, I feel like. Guys just went out and just started playing harder, and we obviously made a couple shots. Um, no, I'm, I'm extremely proud of the group tonight. Um, coming back for the game. Usually, games like this, we don't, we don't come back. But we've done it twice. We did it against Dallas. We did it tonight. Um, so I'm extremely proud that we, we, no matter if we face adversity, next we did it against Boston also. No matter if it face adversity, we always have a chance to come back and uh, win the game. That's a good habit that we're building now. Um, have you been able to pinpoint why, though, it's maybe not there always at the beginning, where you've fallen into these holes and it takes <laughs> falling down by these deficits? Uh, no, I, I, I wish I knew. If I knew um, a way to start like that from the beginning of the game uh, will start like that from the beginning of the game. It's it's basketball, it's human nature, it's luck, it's basketball gods, it's everything, you know, come, uh, comes in place. But um, at the end of the day now, what I know is that we were able to do something like this. So now you got to keep yourself accountable, you know, um, to not be down 26. You know, to be able to make the other team call the first time out, to come uh, out in the first five minutes and uh, assert yourself to the game. Like now, I know that uh, as a team we can do that, and I hold myself and the, you know the team, teammates, coaches, staff, everybody in a high high standard. That hey man, like next time when the game starts, like we should start right away. But sometimes it's not going to go away. I understand that. Can you just walk me through the tip in that you had late to take the lead? It just kind of seems like a messy play on the offensive rebound and being able to find it. Um, uh, what was the play? What was the play? Okay, yeah. Um, misdirection. Uh, threw the ball back to Dame. High pick and roll with me and Dame. Dame coming out of the, the screen. Um, Portland is a team that's going to switch. Um, that gives me opportunity to go in front of the rim, uh, kind of dive all the way uh, to kind of force the switch. 
at the end of the day, you know, Dame uh, in those situations, uh, he's going to try to get to his spot and um, do what he, he does, which is uh, take us home. Uh, I think he shot a shot, then missed, then almost got the ball back. Uh, then they deflected from his hand, then I got the ball, I was about to go up, then um, the guy hit it out of my hand, then Bobby got the ball, and he was about to go dunk it, and uh, it slipped out of his hand, and then um, I got the the ball, and I just tipped it in. That's what I remember. I don't know if it was like that, but... And, and then just when you get switched on to Malcolm, obviously someone that you know well, but just kind of what are you thinking, where you want to send him, how you want to try to defend that? You want to send him left. You want to send him left. He's a hard uh, right driver, uh, goes all the way, kind of um, baits you that he's going to go left and then goes quick to his uh, right. Now I knew that, but it's, it's kind of a shaky play because I want to contest the shot. You know, because you don't want to, we, we, I think we're up two at that point, right? You want to contest the shot if he shoots a three because he's a great shooter, but uh, at, the same, at the same time, you don't want to give him so much space to drive to the hoop. And when he drives to the hoop, he's such a good, has a great touch, you can foul him easily, you know? So I'm, I'm happy that, you know, God blessed me with uh, length and I was able to get my fingers in the ball and uh, get the block. But at the end of the day, I knew that he wanted to go right. Uh, but uh, I think I had great timing and I was able to deflect the shot. Just Bobby had that missed dunk there in the third quarter. Then he really seemed to try to spark there for you early in the fourth during that comeback. Just how big was he during that er charge initially in the fourth quarter there? Uh, just Bobby bringing energy to the game. It's uh, great. And um, his ability to be able to space the floor is big for us uh, and his ability to, to keep on shooting the ball even though you know uh, he missed uh, the first couple and he still have confidence to take the big ones for me that's big um, um, he played not only offensively but defensively he played with a lot of energy when Bobby's in the game we can switch the game we can mark up the game a little bit and just make it tough for them uh, but again after, uh, out of the pass he was able to get uh, a three, and then transition, we came back, then he made the other three, and I think that's kind of sparked the game. Like I think we were within three, we were down three at the time, but like you kind of knew, we had that sense that uh, this game is ours. Um, and uh, Bobby helped a lot, not just this game, in a lot of games I've played with him, like his energy that he brings to this team, and the, the swag and all the confidence, the way he plays. He, it makes the team want to play harder, and uh, I'm happy that he's, he's our teammate. Giannis, as you guys prepare for Miami on Tuesday, obviously a big game because of the in-season tournament, but then also in Miami, that atmosphere and everything, and just kind of the rivalry that sits there. What's your mindset going into that game, and how much is the current momentum, the things that you've learned about this team recently, how much does that help you as you go into Miami? Uh, yeah, you know, when you go to Miami, it's always going to be a tough game. They play hard. Um, they're going to give you everything they have. Um, but at the end of the day, I just try to focus in things that I can control, try to prep my body, prep my mind, um, and hopefully we we'll watch the tape and we are ready as a team to face them. Uh, now, uh, if it's a big game, if it's a finals game, if it's a playoff game, in-season tournament game, regular season game, there's so many names that you can call it. At the end of the day, it's, it's a game, you know. Um, there's no there's no difference. Like, people put more expectations and, I don't know, uh, make the environment heavy when you try to play big against a uh, good team. But at the end of the day, just, you know, try to go out there, do what we do. Hopefully, we don't get down 26 with, uh, against Miami because I don't know if we're able to come back. Uh, from that, uh, play good basketball, move the ball, defend, you know, the way we defended in the second half, and hopefully we can have a chance to win the game. You know, obviously, as, as I said, Miami is a very, very, very good team. They know how to play the right way. They've been together for a long time. Um, they have a lot of, um, how you call it, of fire, firepower. You know, people that can score from Jimmy, Tyler Hero, Duncan, Bam, like all of those guys that can come and uh, at any given night can go off. Uh, you got to be prepared when you play a team uh, like Miami and uh, 
hopefully we are ready to, to play that game. Uh, Giannis, this is the second game you and over here. Yes. Uh, yeah, you and Dame have scored 30 plus points. Uh, you've talked a lot about this season about you and Dame trying to figure out how to play together. How do you think this game can be a building block for you to for the rest of the season between you two? Um, but I, don't, I don't know. Uh, at the end of the day, like as the game, I've said this multiple times. As the season move on forward, we're gonna figure out ways to you know play with one another and even you know be more effective, be more efficient with one another. Um, no one another spots, but at the, at the end of the day, I feel like we are getting we are getting to that point. We are really getting to that point. Like I, I know, like me as a teammate, I understand the moment, the time that he needs the ball. You gotta give him the ball, man. You gotta get out of his way. You know, like especially when he comes down to the last eight minutes of the game, that's where he thrives the most. Um, and you kind of like five, ten games ago. I didn't, you know, I didn't know that, you know, and now I understand, I know who I'm dealing with. And as, as I move on forward, I, you know, pick up on other things. Uh, the same way that, um, for example, when he gets a rebound and I'm ahead of him, um, he's used to, like, bring the ball up, for example. Yeah, but between uh, uh, three to three, I believe um, one of the most effective uh, players in the league, you know, to make a play for myself, to make a play for a teammate, to create an open shot, to kind of become a threat, you know. Um, so, like early in the season, those passes wasn't there. Now, 10 games, 15 games later, the passes are there. So he's picking up one thing. So now we are trying to figure out ways to kind of complement one another's game. And uh, I'm happy, like, he can still be Dame and I can still be Giannis. Uh, and I know that when, when both of us can be ourselves and play with high confidence and get to our spots and become a threat in uh, all the spots on the floor, uh, it makes the game easier for our teammates. Uh, it puts us in position to uh, win uh, games. Um, but again, as I said, like, it makes the game easier for um, our teammates, you know, when we are ourselves. Previous game, uh, Brook had 40 points. You know, while Dame uh, and me had 30. I don't think that have ever happened. Like, it makes the game easier. Like, it doesn't matter. One day it's going to be Brook, one day it's going to be Bobby, one day it might be Chris, one day it might be Malik. You know, but at the end of the day, Dame has to be Dame. I have to be me. And as the game goes on, we're going to keep on figuring ourselves out. And um, the moment we are clicking even in a higher level, uh, it's going to become even more scary and scary and scary as we move on forward. Thanks, Thank you.